In You're Awesome, I'm introducing you to Edward Drayton, known as Dad to six kids and Coach Ed to thousands more. And he went from serving time in prison to a role model for the entire community. Hi, how you doing? I'm Jason, how are you? Hey Jason, how are you? Oh, is this, is this Edward? Meet Edward Drayton, a father of six and father figure to thousands of young men. You have just won $1,000 thanks to Moravia Health for being awesome for all you do for the community. Don't let his short height fool you. He's a giant in this community and has a knack to see eye to eye with nearly every young man he's met. I have kids that are firemen, corrections officers, uh, chefs, <laughs> business owners, access to the community. Kids and young men around here simply know him as Coach Ed. He was always there for me. He was a mentor, a father figure. The bond that we grew over the years is unexplainable. So what did he teach you? Morals, integrity. He always, he let me know too, you can have more than one father figure in your life. And he always gave good advice, solid advice. Drayton is now 55 years old. 30 years ago, he found himself on the other side of the law. The worst thing I ever did in my life was leaving my family being incarcerated. And I prayed and prayed, and then I said, you know what, when I get out of here, I know what it's going to be. I'm just going to give every minute, every hour of myself to helping people. After eight years behind bars, Drayton became a man with a purpose. Using the Houseman Rec Center as his backdrop, he single-handedly got an entire playground rebuilt, restored the basketball floor, and got Drexel University to donate their old rims and backboards. If basketball was the gateway, we did basketball. If football was the gateway, we found the football program for them. And through that, we just had kids coming from all over the city. But it's not the sports or fresh backboards that makes Ed so awesome. It's the village he provides to kids who desperately need it. My family was their family. So any kid that didn't have a family, hey, my wife cooked. They know they can come get something to eat. They know they Father's Day, hey, you're not with your dad. Come on, you can sit in there with me. Many of his mentees over the years are now fathers themselves. He taught me, like, be, be a good father, stand up father, no matter what, don't leave your kids hanging. These are guys who made the conscious decision to buy into something and to understand that, hey, it's okay to make $13, $14 an hour and build yourself up because on the other side of that, you can make 19 cents a day behind that wall. Drayton has an annual community day where he gives away book bags, haircuts, and food. And when a conflict erupts that could escalate to violence, guess who's called in to bring the peace? To look back and see all of the young men and kids in college and, you know, lives that I've touched and to see where they are now, it's just a real humbling feeling. So I'm very appreciative of this. Edward Drayton, you're yeah. Wow, I'm exhausted just watching his entire story. When does he ever sleep? And I said, I'm, you know, are you fulfilled? Are you happy? He goes, I yeah. still, I'm, I haven't even written my, my chapters yet. I got lots of life to live. And he's, get, he's getting his master's at Temple here, oh my behavioral gosh. science. So when does he find the time? I don't know, but he's um, a valuable asset to that little pocket in yeah. Northeast Philly. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely inspired. We can do so much more as evidence by Mr. Drayton. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back.